All right. We back at it. We back at it. We back at it. Um, my Niners are winning right now, and we can back at it. Hey, guys. Happy Halloween. Let's continue off where we left off with the uh, after party. I look... We still gotta, we still gotta beat him. Okay. Okay, so where we left off, right? Let me uh, set this up. So, let me make sure I got everything on point. There we go. Okay, Milo, we, we before we left, right? Milo, we gotta get this ticket from this chick. So, what we did, we bought her a drink which is make her flirty. I bought myself a drink that makes me have a better, better confidence. And let's see if we can try to get these tickets to the party. Go ahead, Milo. Hi, um, are you? No, I won't take a picture with you or sign your femur. And I'm kind of in the middle of something. Really? Cause it looks like you just- This timeline isn't gonna refresh itself. Uh, want a drink? I can. A Jeffrey Bomber from the gentleman with the mulberry wig. Uh, my hair isn't a wig. It's. What am I doing? Well, the walk there and back earned you at least two minutes. Have a seat. I, I got two minutes. I'm Linda Landon, former lead singer of Mercury Worm, current denizen of the Fourth Circle. But judging by your starstruck faces, I'm sure you already knew that. Not that I would, you know, care too much if you didn't. I might not do it. Yeah, I can't say that I've heard of you. Unless... You're not badly mispronouncing the Lafayette Afro Rock Band, are you? So I take it you're not in town for the reunion at Satan's party tonight, then? What reunion? Oh, Jesus. Okay, some backstory. Mercury Worm was my band, obviously, but we broke up. And in my discerning absence, they added a keyboardist and started collaborating with 15-year-old DJs. The fuckers took a fame rocket ship to planet coke and hookers but they all just died in a plane crash like a week ago how romantic right mm -hmm. but they're the hot new diarrhea so satan booked him for his house party tonight maybe all the album covers posing with drugged white tigers finally bit him in the ass and other places wait if they died in a plane crash and you weren't with the band and you can't fly then how would i end up here wait linda just if you have a spare invite to Satan's party, we could really use it. Lola! See, now that's a problem. When I split from the band, I pledged my eternal soul to Satan for a solo career. And it worked for about six months until my 27th birthday when I died parasailing down the Detroit River. Now, part of my infernal contractual agreement is to perform shows here and ones tonight, so I can't go. But... And neither can my invitee, since you'd need to, you know come in with me they won't let you in without me there see sorry if you came just for that selling your soul to satan why on mm -hmm. earth mm -hmm. would you think that would end well for you it wouldn't end well if at the all. second most powerful creature in the universe offered you everything you ever wanted in life when you were at your lowest you'd be surprised what you would do for that kind of clemency uh, i really don't think so I've read enough fables to know that the devil really doesn't play fair. It's, uh, kind of his thing. And yet you're off to see the wizard to play a game where he and he alone determines the winner. Good point. Wait, wait, let me just, uh, let me quarterback this. You said there's a contract, right? Well, shit, people get out of contracts all the time. My Uncle Jeff thought he had a 
prenup, he's living in a van in Reseda now. She took his damn hamster. Guys, look, what if we just, we found a loophole or, or a replacement? Come on, give us something here. Oh, it would be nice to be there when Mercury Worm falls on their faces. Okay. If you want to try, you can try. But you gotta deal with Ono, my manager. She owns the bar. She's downstairs right now, probably looking at another undeveloped talent. Good luck. If you somehow managed to pull this off, I'll, uh, I'll be here. We'll be back before you can say Mercury Worm. Mercury Worm. Come on, that wasn't fair. Wait until we actually, like, leave. So, she's downstairs, she said? This place is a basement? Surprise! It's also a music venue. They dug a big shithole in here and shot out a stage. As for Ono, you can't miss her. She'll probably be yelling at one of her bedraggled assistants. We, uh, keep that in mind. Thanks. We'll be back. Okay, oh no. Let's just sweet talk her downstairs and get Linda off leash. Roger. Okay. Oh, wow. Dirty. Ooh! I knew it. I knew it. I could couldn't keep the he I couldn't keep the devil horns long enough, man. Hold up. Okay. We are at the basement. Yo, 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 I'm Verona. And I'm Peyton. And together, we're Black House. And we're here with a new single off our mixtape. <laughs> Not literally a mixtape, but a thing you can get with a download code if you follow us on Bicker. It's called I Get Mine. Drop the beat. We gotta see, we gotta see. This is great. This is great. Yes, yes, so it's a fucking one and only black house here to tell you why the world is phony. Why you motherfuckers feel tired and lonely, even though you got phones that can bomb Nairobi. I get mine. <laughs> Look at the dude over here in the chair. You gotta have another bar for me. Because we used to do things like go to actual stores, build with actual things, stack on physical floors, and have a funny rapport with two clothes to the floors, and then you buy a black guy and make him. That's what I'm bar. talking about. You used to ask a chick out by putting her in a place, reminding her that she's lucky to have you in her face. They used to laugh at your jokes, even if they weren't great. Now you swipe through their photos begging for a lunch date. Wow. Excuse me, sorry, don't mean to interrupt this. Thing. Excuse me. We're in the middle of an audition. If you can't already tell, and I doubt very much that Black House appreciates the intrusion. Oh, wait, uh, this isn't the bathroom. Oh, glad I didn't pull my pants down too early. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we, uh, we need to talk to Ono. It's important. Uh, uh, don't, don't mind him, kids. Little Chet Nuga Choo Choo's. Valak couldn't find the right spoon for his cereal this morning, so now he's a little ill-tempered. They don't have an... There's no meeting scheduled. Uh, hey, just hit the pause button, okay? Give us a break here. You give a fucking rock a headache. <sighs> Fine. We'll continue this shortly. But House, thank you. I'm Ono Skellis. Some folks call me Ono. That's my auxiliary, Valak. He girds and guards my affairs. I prefer the term executive peon, but... And you thought this was the lavatory. Which it, uh, at least partly is. There's just... There are specific rooms for it. 
not the entire floor. Look, oh no. Linda really needs a break. I know exhaustion in the entertainment industry is code for I ran out of my horse tranquilizers, but this is actually serious. She's already dead. How can it be serious? She... Now, what is this really about? Come on, my stopwatch is running. Linda needs to take a break. And why does Linda need to take a break? Speak quickly now. Hey, honey. <laughs> why ask why? When it's so much more fun to Be just say yes. So Linda Landon needs a break tonight. For some vague, infatigable reason, I'm sure is quite beyond my levels of understanding. And your father's label maker said what on your toy chest? Milo and Lola. Milo and Lola. Valak, how many years left on Linda's term sheet? Roughly 10,000 years. Linda got a discount for time served when she lived in San Antonio that summer. Okay, sold. She can have the night off. Yeah. But you'll have to find a loner. Uh, yeah? A replacement act. We can't be understaffed. Yeah, but that sounds like work. We kind of want to avoid that as much as possible, right? Just find a musician. And don't just go and get any waterlogged corpse that's not at home watching TV, okay? Okay. No, definitely not these. It'll be, uh, top shelf. I should... I'll cryptically add this. Think about the risk here, potentially, before you zip off to Never Never Land and fetch some Sarcoline mm -hmm. crooner. What risk? The first word a human being ever said was property. I should know. I was there at it. I've bought souls for a baby's breath, and I've bought souls for a ham sandwich. The only difference was the stuff they thought they were getting in return. And for someone like Linda, who's so dog-shaking desperate to get out of a contract, that she'd send two souls who ain't been dead not 17 minutes to bargain with me? Well, I think the plan deserves scrutiny is all. Maybe check it for ticks before you scamper off on the songbird's behalf. Don't let her sell you out, kids. I see bad contracts signed every day. Well, what the fuck did she mean by that? I only understood like half the damn words. Sarkaline crooner? Uh, I think she's saying that Linda could stab us in the back or something, maybe like trick us into switching places with her. No, she wouldn't do that, right? You don't know what Linda Landon is capable of, children. But don't lose your concentration now. Ono requires a replacement performance if you want her freed up for the party. And don't even daydream about returning until you do. All right. Now we just have to find some singers and uh, convince them to do this. You listen to more modern day pop garbage than I do, so maybe you should take the lead. Yeah, makes sense. Let's find some musicalists. Famous for his playing two guitars at the same time style, the Grand Duke of Hell, Astaroth, grew to musical prominence in the late 1970s before retiring from the stage to become a model train conductor. There is a dude downstairs who's chilling. I'm sure what this look like. No, the Salem witch trials were actually right. They just killed all the midwives and missed us. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, uh, excuse us. Is anyone here familiar with Linda Landon? Oh, uh, yeah, she's playing here tonight. That's why we're here. What about you? You three, uh... Wouldn't happen to know how to get into Satan's party. We're here because we think Linda has a spare invitation. <laughs> Good luck with that. So the plane crashes, and my friend, he plays the octobase, he uses it like a damn inflatable raft while sharks <coughs> bop me around like a fucking chew toy. Wait, this sounds like classical music. I don't fuck composers, okay? Keep the line moving, thank you. What do you have? Want something? One Wolland Margarita, if you uh, 
I need to figure out where I can get a musician. Um, downstairs, they said a train conductor. They used to play two guitars at the same time. Now, where would I? He's a train conductor, but where would I find him? Okay, let's just... That happens every once yo, in a while. Yo, 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 I feel like we really fucked that up. Yo, yo, I know. Maybe we'll get another chance someday to really impress her. Greetings and salutations, my <laughs> classic <laughs> 80s hip-hop enthusiasts. You want to be our manager? We're trying to get Ono to take us on, so... No offense, but we'd rather keep trying with her. We're here to offer you another opportunity to ascend to the musical heights I know you're capable of. A gig? Wanna play for Ono tonight? It's a one-time thing, but it's real. Holy shit! <laughs> Hold up, wait, no. What is this for? Are we getting paid? Um, <laughs> um no, actually, you'd be doing it kinda as a favor to Linda Landon. But it's also a great opportunity to try out for Ono again. And Ono specifically requested us? Mm, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. She said it wouldn't be a show without, uh, Bud House. Black House. Black House. <laughs> uh, I'm not really feeling wined and dined here. Yeah, we're gonna pass on the town fair job, fellas. Thanks. Oh, shit. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, we need to find some other sucker. I mean, you know, a uh, loser. Wanna get like a hat or something? I already have the song Remains the Same on DVD. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I don't think we'd be able to take anything back with us anyway. Sorry to, uh, d but I, I have to ask. Why are you trapped here like a glittering fish in a very depressing aquarium? Oh, a sample of platter of reasons, really. I challenged Ono to a fiddle off. Lost. Because I forgot I don't know how to play the fiddle. I sold my soul for a number one hit. Died of a chocolate overdose not ten days later. Uh, to be... Uh, to be fair, I ate that much chocolate because I was on a lot of heroin at the time. Uh, and wow. I wanted to be the best guitar player in the world. Ono made it happen. And then I suffocated in a 52-person orgy. I'll be sure to uh, check out your guys' stuff when I get my streaming subscription back. Yeah, they, you can't to talk them. to them. Okay, we gotta figure something out. Oh! The three guys that are outside could have been the act. But I kick their shit in the water. Fuck! No, no, I ain't trying to go outside. I'm not trying to go inside. That is some bullshit. That's what I get. See what's on the other side. Oh. I'm gonna go back. They we gonna use we need them and they're gonna like no we need an instrument now. I bet you. If it isn't our friends, come to rub salt in the wound? Or do you want to kick poor Longinus into the river next? Away with you. I know we kind of screwed you guys over, but would you at all be interested in playing a show? Uh, I... We're flattered. The answer is no. Don't be rude, Longinus. Let's hear them out. I don't want to hear them out. You know what they're going to say. 
Oh, I know what they're going to say. Even Alphalos knows what they're going to say. Ooh, primal please, data with please, the resub. Cuz. Ah, ah. 19 months. Thank you. Thank you so much. To be perfectly honest, we could use the exposure. Foot traffic slowed down ever since they moved the taco hut. <sighs> I guess you're right. Oh. That is what you guys sound like. Uh, thanks for the refresher. We'll meet you in the basement of the hurdy-gurdy when we're ready. It's Ono show, and she wants to see a sampling first. No worries. We'll, uh, manage. Are you about to play Modern Warfare? I've been playing that shit for the last week. They said... Go downstairs? Back downstairs? That's good, man. I'm telling you, this is going to be your first time playing Modern Warfare because there's some good shit and there's some not good shit. It's going to have some fun, though. I'm a, like 33, level 33. Are you down here? Uh, booking for the 8th. Oh, no, the seventh of August. It's the dry period. Not, not the month. The, the eighth, sir. We uh, we found people to uh to play tonight. Really? Yeah. Really. Uh, the the chanters oh, wow. Hell yeah. outside. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah! Wait. We're still in the fucking stocks? You picked these guys? They don't exactly seem performance ready. Well, it would really help if we could move our necks. Oh, come on, they'll be fine. We heard them outside. They can kind of carry a tune. Kind of? We can carry a tune with no the piano Realism. at the same time. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, thank you for keeping me company this. on Halloween. Maybe with some uh, taxi dancers. I mean, this it, it needs some elasticity to it. Dancers. This isn't Studio 54. I wish it was Studio 54. If you can't sing, Valak, you dance. If you can't dance, you set things on fire. That's the rule of rock and roll. And no one is gonna watch monastic hermits moan like castrated jockeys. Unless things are humping each other in the background while they do it. So, Milo and Lola, wanna stand in for me? Uh-oh, we about to perform. Wait, what, what, what's happening right now? You're gonna dance while your chosen artists perform. But just shadow Valak, he'll show you what to do. I just need to see it in a group, you know? Of course, you couldn't have asked me to do this when I was still jogging. Valak here has been wanting to dance on the Buddy Dean show since he was in Pigtails. He choreographs most of the numbers that come through here. Buddy Dean couldn't handle me, honey. You two, it'll be easy. Just follow the moves as I go along. And don't deviate. I didn't study La Sonambula in college for nothing. Mm -mm. Uh, but what What if we suck? Would you uh, not let them perform? Depends on how much suckage we're talking about. It'll be all right, Milo. Just like the, the, the talent show we talked about. You in sixth grade? Oh, you mean the one you couldn't even say anything about because you were so embarrassed by the memory of it. <laughs> me oh wow i always love live dancing are you guys gonna show bush or is it just tits up oh my oh, god wow Will you fuck off wormhorn we don't need this shit right now are you sure you want to do this lola's right i mean milo do you really remember the sixth grade talent show that didn't turn out so well did it <laughs> i mean let's be honest lil chad leckler beat up so bad you had to take off school wait milo you said you got the flu honestly he was throwing up so much it's not that big of a lie Lola, I'm sorry. Wormhorn's right. I can't do this. You should take the lead here. I'll just uh, tap my foot behind you. Wait, don't listen to it, Milo. It's not... It's simple. Just move like I move. Whatever, guys. Come on. My bones are falling asleep here. Let's uh, get this show on the freeway. Play the music. Oh. Okay, 
look at it. Come, Come on, on, don't fuck it up. God, I fucked that once, man. We did it. Yeah. Oof. I knew I should have stopped playing basketball at the Y. Very nice. I can, I can nah, see that you really can. I ain't pick With that. With professionals, it'll really distract the horrifying it. music. Uh oh, my man doesn't show up either. That's pretty she cool. She wasn't talking about you. So, Miss Ono, what did you think? Now that that bit of unpleasantness is in our rear view, I'll let you unfurl the banners. Tell Linda she's free for the evening. Great, awesome, thank you. Valak will riddle out the details. I imagine you'll be going to Morning Stars now. Uh, Satan's, yeah. Ah, yes, to try to outdrink him, get back home. Do you think they'll be able to do it? The two of you. Even if I had uh, misgivings, we have to try. Yep. It's the only way out we've heard of. Uh, so far. Lucifer was the first rock star. You know, before Liz, before Paganini, before that caveman that played a dinosaur's rib cage like a xylophone. It was him. And notoriety makes you forget things. Responsibilities to yourself and others. And look, he has bigger things to worry about tonight than a drinking contest. Responsibilities like what? Just... Every human creature carries microscopic mites. Mites that live full, hectic, provocative Ooh. lives. They fall in love, have children, die tragically. And I say this not to make you itch. I say this so that when you see rock stars and movie stars and people with jets, when you meet Satan, remember that you are all planets responsible for a billion souls. And so is he. And what else could be more important than that? Say hi to Linda for me. We'll be in touch. Thanks for uh, being the uh, the lead back there. I just, you know, I really should just stay in my lane. You can do this stuff, Milo, all right? The sixth grade was a long time ago. You're cooler than you were, no matter what that librarian told you. Now let's give Linda the good news and get her damn invite. All right. We got it. We got the invite. I'm, I'm pretty cool about that. I'm pretty good about that. Oh, Primal Data got the, Primal got that day one. You see that, Primal? You got the founder, the founder emo. Woo! I got two. Let's, let's get a drink first. No, I was the lead singer of this tribute band when one day I just woke up, you know? Don't sing someone else's shitty song about love. Write and sell your own to auto insurance commercials. I locked myself in that safe, though, before I could really self-actualize, but... Move it or lose it, people. Thank you. Want to go again? What do you have? Can I get a, a student of Prague? Student of Prague coming up. Call of Duty, man. I, I thought we were going to do a tournament, me and El Boogie, this weekend, but I don't know if we've got to be able to sign up in time. Yes. You, uh, they did a, a special, they did a, like, a special emote that you can be able to do now for whoever, like, the first year, I believe, who, uh, the first people that sub for you get that. So nobody else got that. Nobody else got that. Well, if it isn't my favorite fans again. Vicar's blowing up about the reunion. 
Apparently, they all just arrived. It's funny. I was thinking maybe there'd be a chance Hedgy Jane Myers would end up, you know, north. She was running some fucking Save the Giraffes PSA campaign last I saw. Anyways, how'd the search for a last-minute understudy go? Seeing as how this is hell, it probably didn't go so well. We got you an, an awesome replacement band, really. It's these, these, uh, monks. They chant. And they can't move either, so, yeah. Monks. Well, we don't know that exactly, but mm -hmm. we do know that they'll be singing for you tonight. You're off the hook. Huh. I'm surprised. And it's hard to surprise someone who gets leeches put in her coffee every morning. Come on, walk me to the cab stand. I have to say, I thought this was gonna be like baking cookies. You plan on making these it. perfect little Christmas trees and they come out looking we gotta like go. somebody's father issues. But you guys really pulled it off. And, uh... I'm a little embarrassed to say, my elbows are sweating at the thought of meeting my old bandmates. Those bastards have gone on so long without me. I'm not sure they'll remember this damned old woman. Hey, I mean, fuck them if they're dicks. Go party with, with, uh, hey, who's an evil guy who'd be at Satan's that's not a Nazi? It's just, we were like best friends, you know? Mm -hmm. And they did kind of screw me over, but I kind of screwed them too by uh, hogging the attention yeah, well that and by embezzling album profits but be Ooh. that as it may i just hope we can remember why we became friends in the first place she missed um she actually misses them Last time I saw Bobby Francis, we got in a fight over what to name our tour van stuffed monkey. What? To the guy I with the red him. hat. He His can get it 24-7. I'm done. <laughs> I'm fucking done with this game, you yo. Single, remember? Milo, Bobby couldn't remember his daughter's name while we were on tour. No, he will not remember. Friendships that long are like a marriage. Sometimes you just want to boil a person's face off and shoot the EMTs as they come, but well, dying alone is just too scary to even entertain the alternative. Everyone dies alone. Even if you have 18 grandkids, can't take them with you. You're not dead until there's nobody left that remembers you. That's why everybody wants to be famous. Milo wanted to be famous. No, I didn't. Why would you say that? Uh, you know what? I don't know. Just popped into my head. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. There's a demonic saying. The longer in hell, the more you are you are. It means... Eh, who gives a fuck what it means? Let's just get out of here. <laughs> that is fucked. Up. Oh my god, this really the writing on this shit is so good. We're close. Is he in yours all black too? Are really are we that far okay we're almost there hey uh thanks a lot for this just give the door gal my name see you in there rock and roll 
awesome. We are awesome. awesome. Yeah. Okay. So we All should right. just go to Satan's then, right? Like, hey, what's up? Let's just uh, let's drink you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's just like a band aid. Quick and easy. Right off. Right off. Yeah, we got a rare achievement. Wait before you go. Time for your review. What? Or a psychological assessment, or bumblefeed personality quiz. You know, whatever you want to call it. First of all, you intentionally chose to be a drink mule for somebody named Linda of all things. Instead of aiding that poor little demon who needed help apprehending a dangerous homo sapien. Either you thought this sounded more fun, or Lola likes just blindly following my little round. Which, either way, I mean, getting a vodka soda for someone does sound simpler. Hey, so Linda seemed easier, Oh, okay? wow. What's the problem with that? We're not down here to, to, to help demons catch people. What is this, an anime from the 80s? All right, all right, all right. So you needed to find a band to fill Linda's slot. Which saps did you enlist? Oh wait, I was there, so I already know. It was the Chanters. Why the fuck did you pick these guys? You know the instant Ono sobers up, she's gonna realize you traded three day old copy for curdled rat now. I mean, have you heard their singing? I, I don't know if you have a hearing disability, but <laughs> they're not good. Hey, Ono made the deal herself, okay? I'm not gonna feel sorry that we swindled the, the demon that invented swindling or whatever. Uh, I guess we'll see if you can maintain your apathy when she circles the wagon back for a renegotiation. Okay, factoid time. Thought you might want to know what's going on in the land of the living. So while you were busy accomplishing this very important mission, instead of, you know, getting your ass off the fucking couch and contributing to society in any sort of meaningful way, one Vlado Gavajic lost his hand in a factory farm accident in Lenawee County, Michigan. Due to lax regulations, his meat will be served along with the other 93,000 cows slaughtered today. Uh, really? One Brian Washington died due to a roller coaster malfunction that ejected him from his seat. This happens roughly four times a year. Think twice before mm. getting that fast pass, kids. I'm Wormhorn. And of course. Ah, wait, sorry. Those are out of order. Wormhorn. <laughs> Lola won that dancing thing on her first try, you giant ass dork. Who the hell is good at this stupid shit? Get a life. Wormhorn, just why the hell are you doing this, huh? Why am I it's my job, Milo. It's what I was created to do. Sired by your mom using psilocybin mushrooms when she was pregnant. So, <sighs> fine, whatever. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you later. Hey, someone order a ferry? Had to go with Miss Landon. Uh, I guess. I got the invite, so... Yay! What a long face. Personal demon dragging down. Listen, just remember, those things are like... car sickness. Just keep your eyes on the horizon, it'll go away on its own. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just need to deal with it to get to the mall, you know? Anyways, did you get the invitation? We did, actually. Get the fuck out of here. A whole VIP cut the entire line invitation for an already free drink? What does she really want? Uh, we had to cover for. We had four. to uh, find a band to fill her time slot. What band? I don't even worry about it. It wasn't three ill-begotten chanters, was it? Oh, you're psychic. You're psychic. It's all over, Bicker. Oh, cool. Anyways, I imagine you'll be wanting to go to Satan's now, right? Finish the game. I, I mean, whatever. Ha <laughs> ha! 